Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome once again to CCW Ring Wars. Coastal Championship Wrestling is on fire. In less than three years, this Florida-based wrestling promotion has grown to become one of the most talked about companies in the United States. CCW shows are first rate, combining great wrestling action with a fan-friendly atmosphere. The state of Florida has long been a proving ground for young wrestlers as well as the home of some of wrestling's most successful promotions and well-known personalities. Hi, I'm Gordon Soley and welcome to uh, Championship Wrestling from Florida, Buddy Col Coastal Championship Wrestling combines the best up-and-coming talent with well-known wrestling superstars, putting it on course to become a major force in the sports world. And the month of February 2007 showed us why. First on the 17th, CCW was back home in Coral Springs with Valentine's Vengeance, a night of action that saw 800 fans pack the gymnasium that has become the promotion's home base. Canadian superstar Shane McLean was in the Sunshine State for a long anticipated battle with Ricky Vega. Unfortunately for McLean, this was not a night to celebrate. The hometown favorite Cash Money Brothers took on the Syrian Slasher and his partner in a wild Miami street fight that saw the violence spill into the stands. But in the end, the Slasher held on to his title. The Cash Money Brothers immediately called for a rematch. I guarantee it'll be worth the ticket. As always, during intermission, the wrestling stars took time to give autographs to the fans. And there was great sports merchandise for the lucky winners of the raffle. Back to the wrestling action. Anthony Michaels won an upset victory over the myopic Shaka Voodoo. Doc Rivers, a Florida mainstay, battled his way to victory over J.B. Cool and the devastating Super Destroyer was victorious in a handicap match. Norman, the big wiggle, the originator, always duplicated but never ever imitated. Former WCW superstar Norman Smiley was awarded a disqualification victory over Japanese martial arts master Kahagas. The main event saw Phi Delta Slam take on Kenny Thiessen and Superfly Jimmy Snuka, who was in town from the Isle of Fiji. The legendary Superfly, who is one of the most recognizable names in the wrestling world, showed the tag team champions that he had plenty of fight left in him. In the end, Phi Delta Slam managed to hold on to their titles. But the South Florida wrestling fans will not soon forget the night they saw one of wrestling's true heroes, Jimmy Snuka, in action one more time. The following Saturday, CCW headed to Sebring, Florida, home to one of the world's most famous auto races. In Central Florida, football is king, and the Sebring High School Blue Streaks are the toast of the town. But on the 24th, all eyes were on the squared circle as fans lined up outside the Highlands County Arena for what was sure to be a historic night of professional wrestling in the city of Sebring. Sebring Police Chief Tom Detman served as ring announcer as the fans anxiously waited for the competition to begin. The opening contest is scheduled for a one fall. The popular and mysterious Dan Tastic took on Brian Gamble in one of the night's more entertaining bouts. It, it was a tough one, but in the end, Dan Tastic was the victor. Wow. 
The fans in Sebring did not take kindly to the Syrian slasher. But the slasher was impressive in the ring as he devastated everything in his path. After the match, the slasher continued beating his helpless opponents, and a local resident took matters into his own hands. Who the heck are you? Because I'm not, I'm not. But who was this man carrying the big stick? I'm Howard Godwin, boy, don't you forget it. Former Sheriff Howard Godwin, now retired, but still walking tall. The grand finale of the evening saw Phi Delta Slam take on Cahagas and Dustin Rhodes. Cahagas displayed his finely tuned martial arts skills as Dustin Rhodes slugged it out with the Tag Team Champions. But in the end, the frustration was too much for Big Tilly, as he was disqualified for blasting Dustin with the dreaded kendo stick. <laughs> However, Cahagas would return the favor before Five Delta Slam was able to beat a hasty retreat. <laughs> this vicious feud was not settled and the CCW Board of Directors is sure to issue a rematch, along with possible fines and suspensions. Coastal Championship Wrestling, Florida's big time wrestling. Don't miss it, it's coming to a town near you.